If you are concerned about your students not being able to read the questions in a quiz, or if you're concerned about students needing quiz questions translated, you can use forms in Canvas. You'll have to build your quiz in forms first. And I already did that. I have this test quiz. And if I click on preview, I can see that there's the little immersive reader icon and it'll read these pieces to the student. So it'll read the test, the title, and then here are the questions and this is what it sounds like. Press play to hear it. One, were you able to work through the module asterisk? Yes, no, end of question. Close the reader to input your answer. Okay, it even tells the student that they need to close Immersive Reader to go back and click on their answer, which was read to them. Okay, now I want to share this. So I'm going to go back, share, and I'm going to click on the embed code because I want to embed this into my Canvas assignment. Here's the embed code. I click copy. I go back to Canvas and I am going to add an assignment. This is going to be a new assignment and test forms quiz. Okay. Add item. I have it here. I'm going to edit. And in this large text box, I click on HTML editor, and now I paste that embed code in. I press save. I don't need a submission or anything. And now I have my quiz. I'm in student view. This is what the students see. I click on my quiz and the quiz is embedded inside my page. I don't have to click on a link. I don't have to leave Canvas. This is all right here. I click my answers and then I press submit and it'll submit my response. Now that the student has taken the quiz, you will have to leave Canvas to see their results. Back in Forms, you have your questions. Responses is where you see the student responses. These are my yeses, my noes, and I can view results. How long it took them to complete, which student responded here, and the student names come from their call your login because if they haven't logged into Office 365 on the device that they're using, it'll ask them when they click on the form to log in using their student ID at callyourschools.com. You can also click on this Excel spreadsheet and it'll break down when the student logged on and took the test, which student email, the student name and their responses.